Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this little fidget frog. You may have seen these circulating on TikTok, but today I'm going to show you how to make one. For this project, you're going to need green or whatever color you want your frog to be. You're going to need a little bit of red. You're going to need a crochet hook. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook. You're going to need a yarn needle or darning needle. You're going to need a pair of scissors and optional, a stitch marker. I won't be using a stitch marker for this project because it is a very quick and simple project, but if you need one, use it in the beginning of each of your rows so you know which row you're on. So first off first, the thing that makes the snapping sound inside of the fidget is a hair clip. You can use any size hair clip that you want. I have the 2.5 inches. I like this size. I feel like it fits really good in the hands. Although if you can only find smaller ones, you can use a smaller hook size or just alter the pattern to fit your hair clip. Now to prepare our hair clip. So whenever we bend it, it doesn't open up on us and have a gap in our crochet work. We're going to need to tie it down. You could glue it down, there's other methods, but I like the tie down version, it works pretty good. We're going to take some yarn, it could be any color because it's going to be hidden. I'm going to use this yellow and we're going to leave a little bit of a tail and wrap it around the hair clip. It's nice and tight and secure and then we're going to tie it around the tail that we left. Just tie it once or twice, whatever makes it secure, and here we go. Now we have a prepared hair clip. Now let's grab our green, or whatever color you want your frog to be. We're going to do a magic green. You can also use the chain three method, but I'm going to start with a magic green, and we're going to single crochet with five or six stitches. It doesn't too much matter, honestly. One, two. Don't have my pattern that I wrote in front of me, but you, it'll it'll be fine either way. I will go ahead and do six on this one. Now that the first row is done, we're going to increase around so that's two single crochets into each stitch. And we'll just increase all the way around. And now that we're done, we're going to single crochet about 10 rows or until it covers your hair clip. Hi, I'm just editing and I've been asked a couple of times how do I make a rectangle out of a circle. Um, I just wanted to let you know that it's not doing that. Um, I guess if you lay it flat, it kind of looks like a rectangle, but really all it is is a flat tube because with Amigurumi, we are crocheting in the round. We're just making a really long cylinder shape. I really hope that wraps up any confusion. Okay, we have done 10 rows of single crochet, and I'm at the end of row 12. This is almost covered it up, not completely. If I stretch the stitches over a little bit, it'll cover it completely. But what we're going to do is a decrease one and single crochet one row, and those are going to repeat all the way around. So we'll do one decrease and one single crochet. 
Or you could do a single crochet decrease instead. It doesn't too much matter as long as you're closing up the stitches to cover around your hair clip. Okay, we are almost done and we're going to do some decreases to finish up closing up the row. And keep doing those until you have about five or six stitches left and then we can cast off and close up the stitches. So let's cast off. Leave a little bit of a tail. You don't really need a big one, just like this. And let's get our yarn needle. And sew up the end, just like this. And we're good to go. And here is the first little shape to make our fidget. You can use this as a base to create all kinds of different animals and shapes and different designs and stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and turn it into a little frog because frogs are really cute. So let's grab some more of the green and we're gonna copy what we did for the start of it, which is a magic ring, or you could use the chain three method. Going to single crochet six. Or if you did five, you could do five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna pull this tight. We're gonna increase all the way around. And for two rows, we're going to single crochet. Now let's cast off. You're gonna wanna make two of these. So here's one and here's two. Now we're going to add safety eyes to our eye stalks. So you can either add them on the third and fourth row or you can add them one up higher between the second and third row, which is where I'm going to add them. So we're gonna pop it on just right there. I'm going to use the lighter trick that I learned from TikTok, but I'm not going to show just in case there is something, a reason why I can't show a lighter on screen. But what it does is it flattens the end of it where it used to be like this and sharp and pointy. And in case someone's finger went on that, it's a little hard and it's not very comfortable. But if somebody hits this one, it's not going to be as bad. Also, it securely places the safety eye on there so this part won't come off. Now let's do the second one. If you happen to be a child making one of these or you're making one of these with your kid, please uh, for maybe don't use the lighter trick or have a parent help you. Now you can either fill up these eyes, but I'm going to just use the ends of my yarn and stick them up in there so it'll look like this. Now we will sew in our eye socks into our little bean shape, pickle shape. It's not really a bean shape. Maybe it is. I'm gonna put one on this end. So we got one done and here's two. And now that we have the eyes on, we can add our mouth. Let's take some red yarn or whatever color you want the mouth to be. I like the little V shape. I like the little frowny face personally, but some people really like the smile or you can add a whole different face if you are pretty good at doing little mouths and for embroidery. But I'll show you how I do mine. If you like a smile instead of a frown, I suggest doing this upside down. So we will put our yarn in like this, go two down, and I will come across like this, and then we'll go back up to the top one and come back down, and we have 
our little mouth. Now we will tie this off pretty tight. We don't want it to affect the mouth at all. I'm going to snip this really close. And we're going to take our yarn needles and we're going to come around and I'm going to grab that little bit that I cut off and kind of like drag it in there just like that so that our mouth is safely secured just like this and now we have finished a little frog fidget Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video i suggest giving it a like maybe subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one and if you like the things that i do may i suggest becoming a ko-fi member there are two tiers currently one is just a one dollar shout out that will give you a shout out at the end of my videos and the second one you will get a craft of the month i will either send out multiple things or i'll send out one depending on how crafty i am each month so these two will be going out to my people signing up for craft of the month there will probably be some more things too because I have been pretty crafty this month. There are a limited number on those so if you would like to join, join now. If you become a member you will also get a special tier for the discord so your name will be up higher than everybody else's. Now a special thank you to my Kofi members AC, Dr. Chelsea, and QQ Train. Thank you so much for being my Kofi members. Thank you so much for supporting me. I hope to see you all very soon. Bye-bye.